So here's the entrance to my cave. As you can see, I've randomly put a bunch of torches around it so it's easy to find. And hopefully soon enough I'll get some redstone so I can make a compass. There's a zombie around here and I'm going to go kill it. Ah, there you are, Mr. Zombie. Good night, Mr. Zombie. Come here. Come here. Let me kill you. Thank you. Ah, and you can see here we have a little... neat little niche under the water here. The frozen water. Wait, why is there cobblestone? Wait, is this a dungeon? I think this is a dungeon. Maybe. Because there shouldn't be cobblestone. Mossy cobblestone, this is a dungeon. Did this whole area just fall into a dungeon? Or is it over here? Okay, there, wait. I am confused. If you don't know, a dungeon is an area with a monster spawner and usually a couple chests, so you can get some items. It looks like one spawned directly under a bunch of sand, so the sand fell into the dungeon. At least that's what I'm betting happened here. You can tell you found a dungeon because dungeons ha are made of cobblestone, and cobblestone doesn't naturally appear. Nor does mossy cobblestone, the only way to get, is from dungeons. So, I'm going to make sure to collect all of that. Mossy cobblestone doesn't do anything special, but it looks sort of neat. So, I always try to collect it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a freaking... Oh my god, die. Die, you stupid... Crap. Where, where did that come from? Oh my god. Stop that. For... Damn it. Uh, uh, I'm speechless. Oh, okay. Um... Let's get out of here. I'll remember this is here. Not very well prepared to fight right now. That's a very interesting find. Yeah, I'm not... If I knew where the spawner was... Yeah, it's spawning the things right in the middle of nowhere. Actually, I'm sort of betting it's right in the middle. So, oh, crap. Let's break this right now. This is the monster spawner. It is creating spiders, as you saw. And let's get the heck out of here. Oh, holy crap. Oh my god, die. I hate you, die. Where are you? I'm normally not afraid of spiders, but when spiders are six feet long and can kill you. I don't like them as much anymore. Spiders do, however, drop string, which is good. Oh, and I have three string. With string, you can make a bow, which is the only long range weapon in the game. And mossy cobblestone. I'm going to go build a workbench so I can I may as well build it right here. Wait, do I have enough wood? No, I don't. Well, crap. I guess I'll just... dig around. It's much easier to dig with a friggin' shovel, but I don't have any wood. And I... once again lost all of my... What should call it? Workbenches. Oh, it's daylight. Stupid fog, go away. Nobody likes you. Oh god, it's a creeper. Those I hate even more than spiders. Because they're dead freaking silent. They also explode! 
like that, which is annoying. Because they kill you instantly if you're, like, right next to them. So you might not even hear them and they just suddenly explode. And you're dead. And that kind of sucks. Oh god! Yeah, you hear that little hissing sound right before they explode. And I guarantee, pretty much guarantee, it will scare the crap out of you. If you're not expecting it anyway. Let's get some wood. If you're being smart about it, you know, you don't need quite this much wood, but... A good thing to do is to keep a whole stack of wood, 64 logs, so that way you have a massive amount of wood you can use, but it only takes up one space. 64 logs will make, like, four stacks of planks, and from that you can make... What, 16 stacks of sticks, if you really want a bunch of sticks. Anyway, I just really want one of these. Now we can make a shovel. Here we go. Let's make a couple. By the way, since this is a snow map, you can actually harvest the snow if you use the shovels, and they make snowballs. And with snowballs, you can put them together to make snow blocks, which are really only useful cosmetically, but they're sort of neat. I mean, if you pick the snow map, it's one of the benefits, so you can actually make snow structures. And you can throw snowballs. I'm not sure if they do any damage. But you can. You can throw them, so whatever. And is there treasure in this room? There better be. Spooky noises. Yeah, this is why I made multiple shovels. You, you'll break them. Oh! I see a treasure chest. What is in you? Hopefully some redstone. Oh, buckets are good, uh, planks less so. Ooh, gunpowder. Gunpowder you can only get normally by killing creeps. Those are those explodey things. Uh, you can go away. And I'll throw away some sand. There's usually two treasure chests but and I pretty much looked everywhere. If you want, you can also break the treasure chest and take it with you. And I think I'll do that because I need some storage space. And if you're out of storage space, by the way, you can stick stuff in those crafting boxes and it acts like four extra things as storage. Give me your treasure chest, thank you. But, crap. If you try to walk through sand as it's falling, you'll fall like that. Whatever, let's get out of here. We're going to use this place as stupid water, my base, just because, where's that box? I don't, where did the chest go? I didn't pick it up, did I? No, I did not. Damn it. Whatever. Throw you away. Thank you. Now, we have our chest. With the chest you can store, it's basically an extra inventory. We'll basically store the stuff you can't immediately use in here. Oh, where did I leave that? There it is. Actually, go back and get it this time. Come here. 
it's sort of good to have a furnace, a workbench, and a treasure chest at like little outposts or whatever you want to call them. Little spots to build crap. And I'm pretty sure the way to make a bow and arrow is like this. Yep. Unlike the other weapons, bow and arrows actually last forever, but you have to use you have to make arrows to shoot. And to make arrows you need flint, wood, and feathers. I don't really have that crap right now. And I wouldn't be able to make very many anyway, so I'm just not going to worry about making all of that. It's a cobblestone. This looks pretty good. Actually, it's... Hmm, not much wood. I'm going to go get some... Oh, I shouldn't have... Always keep some cobblestone with you. I seem to have thrown away all of my cobblestone. Because I'm brilliant like that. Whatever. Well, I'll worry about wood later. I eh, know I won't. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna go chop down some wood and mine that mossy cobblestone, and I will be right back. Okay, that is a lot of skeletons. I'm gonna be heading back into this cave right now. Funny thing I noticed, sort of dark, while wandering around, is that this is basically a snowy desert. And wow, I just realized the position my mic was in. So I'm not sure how well, ow, any of that recorded, but yeah, I'm not using my standard setup. My standard setup is my laptop's microphone, so it's sort of hard to misplace that. But I'm on my desktop to run Minecraft. I forgot to position my stupid mic. So I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear that at all. And I broke the torch. Oh, and one other thing, I got just enough leather to make a breastplate, so if I find a workbench, I'll go make that, too. Sort of forgot to do it while I was right next to one. Oh, and there's some water. Let's go find the source of that water and plug it. There's water. Oh, zombies. Yeah, I hear you. Friggin' zombies. Where are you? Doesn't look like you're here. Okay, stop lagging, please. Okay, nice dead end. Oh god, where are you? Okay, you shouldn't sound that nearby if you're not actually here. Stupid zombies. Where are your manners, Mr. Zombies? Mr. Zombies. Oh god. Hello. I have a sword for you. Die. Thank you. Thank you, come again. Oh god. You brought your family. You got stuck in the same spot. <clears throat> I guess the current flow must push them right there. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and zombies drop feathers on occasion. You need feathers to make arrows. Let's, let's go seal this friggin' waterfall so the zombies stop appearing. <laughs>